I just saw a very interesting article about an idea I had never heard of, the right to disconnect. So this is something that the Greens have been pushing through in Australia to allow people to legally disconnect from work when they're not being paid to work. And I find this perplexing. My American brain really can't make sense of this. So you're telling me that you're going to get people to work less, but we're also in a, we're also in an incredibly stagflationary environment right now where economic output is rather stagnant and things are inflationary. So I don't exactly know why all of a sudden this right to disconnect thing is coming up. I don't particularly think it's going to end well. I think this is going to even further reduce the amount of hours people are working. And I think more economic output is necessary, not less. So you're going to get less output for the same amount of money. I don't really know where this is going to go. I mean, it sounds great on paper if you don't want to work, but as an economy to take that stance is pretty foreign to me. What do you think? I would love your comment below on this right to disconnect thing, or if this is just going to be overblown or not even pass all the way. I'll be honest, I don't really understand how all the rules work here, but this article came across my feed and I thought I might share my thoughts on it. If you're ready to learn about some emotional and social intelligence, you can stick with me on this channel or you can check out my Discord community at the link below where we talk about our tech-related jobs as well as emotional and social intelligence, the stock market, really a lot of stuff that engineers tend to like. We'll see you at the next one.